Today I'm going to show you the boot time of Windows 8, uh, and this is in a virtual machine, so it's actually going to be slower than it would be on this computer if it was installed right to the hard drive instead of a virtual machine. And it's still right around 10 seconds, I can show you here. Uh, as soon as this VMware screen disappears, then it's actually booting, starting now. And the, you can see that it's under 10 seconds uh, when we'll get to the login screen here. And there we are. That is incredibly fast. Uh, Windows 7 on this exact same machine, Windows 7 64-bit professional, uh, it takes anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds to boot. So uh, this is quite a bit faster. I can show you the specs that uh, this is running on right here. Um, it has a Windows Experience Index of, I think, 6, right around 6, yeah, 5.9. Uh, and it has the has a Core i7 processor. So on a computer with these specs, which are pretty decent, uh, it's about 10 seconds. I've seen it on some desktops that have just a single core Pentium that have been doing it about 20 seconds. So the boot time is incredible with Windows 8. It is worth the upgrade for that alone. There's some other features and bugs to work out, but the boot time is incredible.